Extreme and long-lasting heat draws more and more moisture out of the ground. And that increases the likelihood of lightning strikes in the world's northernmost forests. Canada experienced its worst wildfire season on record this year. Starting in early May, several wildfires were seen in Alberta, British Columbia and Saskatchewan and continued into the month of October. While Canada's wildfires engulfed around 18 million hectares of land in total in 2023. Extreme wildfires are predicted to become more frequent and intense in future across the globe. But what are the causes of these wildfires? Is there a way to prepare for them? Let's understand. Devastating wildfires swept the globe this summer, from Nepal in Asia to Hawaii in the Pacific. Canada experienced its worst ever wildfire season, with fires burning through the largest area of land since official records began in 1983. The fires were so widespread and severe that they covered New York City and parts of Europe with hazy, smoky skies. It made air quality unhealthy in many regions in Canada, down to the mid-Atlantic and southern regions of the United States. New York City's air pollution ranked the worst for any city in the world on some days in June, as wildfire smoke from Canada covered the city in a sooty haze. Canada experiences a wildfire season between May and October every year, but this destruction was unprecedented. The fires this year have been widespread, numerous and intense. The historically rich Lahaina city in the US state of Hawaii experienced major wildfires in August 2023, resulting in the destruction of both human life and natural environment. Around 13,000 people lost their homes as around 2,200 buildings were destroyed in the fire. 93 died and many were injured in wildfires in Lahaina and its surroundings. Wildfires in Greece fanned by dry, windy and hot conditions left 26 dead and raged through 150,000 hectares, including resorts on the islands of Rhodes and Corfu. Record-breaking wildfires occurred all over the Northern Hemisphere during 2023. And the results are startling, underscoring the urgent need for global action to mitigate the terrible impact of climate change. From wildfires causing a haze of smoke that induced pollution-related health problems to hurricanes and floods that destroyed millions of homes and infrastructure, the world continues to grapple with the escalating climate crisis. With each passing year, the impact of climate change has become increasingly severe. The question being, should we then adapt and prepare for life in an ever-changing climatic environment? Or should we take decisive action to mitigate this existential threat? The choice is ours.